Hello Cooks, welcome back to Code with Cougar. In this cool video, I'm gonna show you how to take uh, multiple user inputs in one single line of code in C Sharp. Uh, suppose we want to prompt the user to enter, uh, please enter the values uh, super rated by white spaces. Or we can uh, separate our values by commas or whatever you want. So. Uh, uh, let's define a string, a user input to store the a string or the line of code the user enters equal to console dot read line. So if we print the user input here, uh, it's going to print uh, as it is a user input. Let's run our program. Enter the values separated by white spaces. Suppose we enter four, seven, five, uh, six, uh, seven. So it's gonna print uh, the whole values as one line of line of a string. So we don't want it. We don't want that. We don't. Uh, we want to uh, treat four as a separate value, seven as a separate value, five, six, and seven. So for that, let's define a var variable, a variable of type var. Uh, splitted items equal to user input dot split. So basically what the split function does, uh, it, it splits a string based on a delimiter. So our delimiter is here is a white space since the user uh, enters each value separated by a white space. And if you read uh, the split function is very useful when we uh, want to use uh, values from a CSV file or a text file where the values are separated by a white space or comma or slash or dash, whatever. Whatever is our separator, we can pass it here. In this case, uh, our separator or lemma is white space, so we pass a white space to a split function. So it's gonna return each element uh, uh, as, as an array and store it in this var splitted function. Uh, if we can see, it's gonna be an uh, array of a string. So we can loop through uh, for each uh, var x in splitted items. So we just want to print that. Uh, print each item, print x. Let's get rid of this line of code for the moment. If we run our project now, uh, we can see that uh, if we enter five, six, seven, whatever number of values the user enters, so we can take multiple values and treat each single uh, item separately. So we can see it prints each item separately. Uh, and if you are sure that the user will enter uh, integer types, you can cast, since here X is a string, so you can cast the string to integer type. Suppose we want the user to enter his last name or first name in one single of line of code. So enter your first name or last name. So let's say my first name is Code, uh, my middle name is Wit, and uh, my last name is Cougar. So it's gonna uh, take each uh, value and treat them separately. So that was a short video on how to take multiple values or user input in single line of code in C Sharp. Uh, and see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to Code with Cougar. Thank you.